If you told me ChatGPT5 could run my shop's marketing, customer service, and bookkeeping, but I had to let it work independently and without any human intervention for a week, would I do it? Back in the old days of GPT-4, you could trust it to write your customer responses by telling it to sound warm, brief, and straightforward. But the moment the conversation got long or you switched topics, GPT-4 would forget. And you'd have to start a new chat dialogue, repeating yourself about the tone of voice and response style. With GPT-5, the bigger context window and better style adherence means it keeps your tone active for the entire conversation, even if you jump between completely different tasks. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so in this example, I set up some details about a coffee shop, told of the tone, the length of a sentence response, style, and then it needs to end with M dash Brian. And I gave it some rules about the FAQs, and here are the FAQs, etc. So I push send on that and it ingested it. And then I moved down to the next piece here where I just ran a test. I said, hi, my espresso machine stopped steaming milk after one day, what should I do? Well, probably return it. And look at that, hi there, sounds like a faulty unit. Bring back 14 days, M dash Brian. So it's complying to the rules that I created for it there. So now I'm gonna write a totally wild and different prompt. Write a formal letter to a city council requesting permission to host Community Coffee Festival 200 words. All right, so now we're kind of off track here, but it's done a nice job of creating this. All right, so now we're gonna do something else to keep on, <laughs> take it off track. Write a dramatic six line poem about a coffee beans journey from farm to cup. Okay, so here's my six line poem. Okay, let's take it off track further. Give me seven humorous coffee shop slogans with puns. Bean there, sip that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Java nice day. Okay, and now I jump back into the customer response response, request response. Hi, I ordered a bag of dark roast coffee beans and they never arrived, can you help me? And look at that, it held true to the rules. Or hi there, three to five business days, M dash Brian, right? Which were the rules are up here. Obviously, this is a somewhat simplified example because you don't wanna watch me run through 30 different distracting chats, but just try it yourself. Working with ChatGPT's new context window and its tone lock means you don't need to start everything over if the chat gets lengthy. But what about dealing with something like social media that never ends? If you're like any other business in the world today, social media is killing literally hours of your week, or you're paying someone to post generic stuff. With GPT-5, you can feed it last month's offers, your top products, and a few customer stories. Then you tell it, make me three posts for Facebook, three captions for Instagram, all in my tone. You can keep running this in the same chat because a tone lock means the post will continue to sound like you and not like a template. So what if you're worried about more than just the tone of a social media post? That's not the end of the world. On the other hand, if the GPT messes up the sale price of your top product, you've got a problem. GPT-5 handles this with what's called source locking. So what's source locking? As a quick aside, I always have new tricks that I'm testing across my businesses, and I can easily drop those tips into an email to share with folks. So you guessed it, I'm sending out an email for people who are interested in my latest prompts, workflow automations, or business tools that I've been using successfully. It'll also be covering broader marketing and business operational tips for things like cold outreach, SEO, social media, email management, meeting notes, paid ad campaigns, and a whole bunch more. Candidly, there's a lot of hidden gems out there, and I'm happy to share the ones I've been collecting over the years. So if you're interested, sign up via the link in the description, and I'll see you there. Let's say you're a bakery or a ceramic store and your products are changing frequently, but you want to maintain the same style and format for your descriptions. And you don't want to start up a new chat with the same details each week because candidly, even prompts for your product descriptions can be tedious. With GPT-5, using source locked answers takes your raw list of services and it outputs descriptions that are consistent in style and length and even pricing. It also means ChatGPT5 won't make up deals you're not running. And this is all in the same chat dialogue. Let's look at an example of this one. In this case, we are writing product service descriptions for my baking business. And here are all the requirements, two sentences under 50 words, friendly approachable language, one benefit or unique feature, don't use marketing phrases, add the price, don't group item, don't group items. And then I put in pricing for these, I have no idea. 
but these are just some categories. And then these are the first items that we're gonna have it run. Got those, great. All right, so now we're gonna add another challenge and we're gonna add 40 more items. Okay, excellent. Let's run those. Okay, so we've got the same pricing, two sentences, under 50 words. That is going well, excellent. Let's just finish up here. All right, so then we'll do this one more time. So now here we're gonna add 40 more. Again, these are all different. I had no idea the bakeries made all this stuff, but now I'm hungry. All right, so it's gonna keep running all of these. Again, two sentences, prices. It's very consistent throughout. Trust me, you'll run out of products before GPT-5 will run out of consistent product descriptions. Okay, so back to the earlier piece. What if you're actually automating your social media? And I hope you are. So why is GPT-5 better with automations, things like social media, invoices, whatever, than GPT-4? With GPT-4, an automation could break halfway through and stop. You wouldn't know until a week later. GPT-5's live tool chaining with error recovery means if one route fails, it tries another. That keeps overdue payments from falling through the cracks. All right, last business example. Emails are the lifeblood of any business, but they're also the biggest pain in the butt. GPT-5 can be hooked into your Gmail and your Google Calendar. So GPT-5 can read your messages, flag urgent ones, group common questions, and even draft replies in your locked tone. Then book follow-ups directly in your calendar. It's very cool. To wrap it all up, most people will use GPT-5 the same way they use GPT-4 as a better search bar the ones who win will be the earliest to let it run aspects of their business without a human getting in the way. Follow along if you're into this kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time.